What does this LSU win mean for college mm. football, Max? Well, I mean, look, going into this season, I framed this, the season. I thought I'm not the only one, I'm sure, as is are we still in the Nick Saban Alabama era or is this the Dabo Sweeney Clemson era? That can gets kicked down the road for another season. We will enter this upcoming season asking the same question. But by the way, the answer may be it's neither mm -hmm. one's era. The answer may be that LSU or some other program is coming up in the world. Look, um, Coach O did an amazing job. Joe Brady was a great addition to that staff. Joe Burrow had one of the all-time, if not the all-time great season. Is that a function of now recruiting and coaching and the kind of internal mechanics of the program and culture of the program? Or is that also largely a function of a very special quarterback? We will find out going forward. But what it means for college football as of this moment is that Nick, at worst for Nick Saban, the throne is vacant. At best, maybe he's still sitting on it because Dabo did not take it by force. I think it's great for college football from primarily from this perspective. We've been thinking about Alabama and uh, Clemson. Obviously, Ohio State was in the mix, and now LSU is in the mix. And we can't ignore what we're seeing develop with Kirby Smart in Georgia because he was in the national title game a couple of years ago. Um, obviously, he had an opportunity this year, but, you know, they didn't get it done, even though they made a bowl game. The reality of the situation is the SEC, with those three teams alone, is stacked. Then you got to take Florida, Auburn into the mm -hmm. consideration as well. In a good way, we're not just talking about Alabama. There's a couple of other teams in the mix. And yep. here's where it's bad. It's still all SEC. When you see um, mm -hmm. Clemson go down in the fashion that it went down, it just reminded you that the SEC is head and shoulders above everybody else. You know, Ohio State, as formidable yep. as they are, to lose to Clemson, and then to watch Clemson lose the way that they did last night to LSU just reminds you that the SEC is in a class of its own. I don't know if that is great for college football, particularly with the college football playoffs, particularly with, with, with the rankings and what have you. I just don't know. But I think that, again, it's good for the SEC to have more than one team. It's bad for everybody else in the country, Ryan. That's what I take from it. Yeah, listen, you're looking at Nick Saban last night, and he's smiling when Lee Corsall puts on the Tiger hat, and, and then he has the jersey with Corsall spelled in the Cajun letters or in the Cajun way. And it started me to thinking about who would Nick want to win this game because we were getting the conversation, is Dabo Sweeney and Clemson now the dynasty? Are they now the benchmark to which everyone is measured? And I still say it's Nick Saban, and here's why. When Nick Saban goes to recruit guys and when Nick Saban is trying to get people to come to school, he can say, look, we didn't win it this year, but the team that did win it is in the SEC West, not just the SEC, Stephen A., not just the SEC, Max, the SEC West, we have to play them every year. In the ACC, it's everybody here and then Clemson here. In the Big Ten, it's everybody here and then Ohio State here. Those guys get in and may win one every now and then. Since 2006, 10 teams or 10 championships have gone to the SEC. In that, Auburn has won one. LSU has won one. All from the SEC West. And so Nick Saban can say, I am still the king of that. And if you are the king of the SEC West, you are still the king of all. But this is the year. Does LSU get a transfer? Is it Miles Brennan? Is it TJ Finley? Can Joe Brady and Steve Ensminger recreate the magic they found with Joe Burrow? Does losing the LSU and not having a mass exodus of young players help Alabama? Do they bounce back? Are they in there? And is Trevor Lawrence finally going to become the guy that is better than all and help his team win a championship, dominate, and get a Heisman? We don't know. And then you factor in Ohio State. This will be the year to say if we have parity, is it just about the SEC, or can Clemson and Dabo now say we are the team that the championship runs through whether we win it or you play us to get it each and every year? What does this mean for Clemson's program in your estimation? I understand that they can come back to the drawing board with the talent that they have, but I think we see this happen 
in various sports, Ryan, so I'm going to ask you as a former player. Sometimes we target the particular opponent that just took us out. Or we might target the conference that we're in, prioritize that, and worry about everything else later. I think Oklahoma in college football can be accused of doing that. The conference that they play in, let's tailor our talent around succeeding in that conference, get ourselves into the postseason, and just roll the dice from there. The SEC, their formula seems to be something, or clearly is something, that can work no matter who the opponent is. Other people, not so much. So when I look at Clemson, right. I think about the rest of the ACC, and I'm saying, okay, you're going to dominate the ACC, but last night was fodder for the Paul Feinbaums of the world and others to sit up there and say, see, there's the SEC, or as you would say, the SEC West, and yeah. then there's everybody else. See the level that we're on compared to everyone else? What do you say to that, Ryan? Yeah. Well, what I say about Clemson, Clemson is competing against the SEC. If you look at recruiting now, if you look at kids top five, because I follow high school recruiting and college recruiting, you look at their top five, it's Alabama, it's LSU, it's Georgia, and then there's Clemson and Auburn. And so Clemson is recruiting the same type of player. They are getting the same types of players because they understand it's not about winning the ACC. Dabo Sweeney will now be judged on the amount of national championships that he can win that's how they got new facilities this is how they are continuing to build their program because they say if you come here you will get an easier route to right. the college football playoffs you will play ACC teams you don't have to beat Georgia Ryan. you don't have to beat Alabama you don't have to beat LSU and when we get there we got to win two games thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.